carbon nanotubes, CNTs, are one of the most exciting materials in the world of nanotechnology with their unique structure, remarkable mechanical properties and vast potential for applications in various industries, CNTs are transforming the way we think about material science. In today's video we will explore the intricate details of carbon nanotubes including their structure, properties, synthesis methods and groundbreaking applications. Let's delve deeper into the fascinating world of these microscopic marvels. Carbon nanotubes are cylindrical structures made entirely of carbon atoms, arranged in a hexagonal pattern similar to that found in graphene. These nanotubes come in two primary forms, single-walled carbon nanotubes and multi-walled carbon nanotubes. SWCNTs consist of a single layer of graphene rolled into a tube, while MWCNTs are composed of multiple concentric graphene layers. SWCNTs are typically 0.5 to 1.5 nanometers in diameter, and MWCNTs are typically greater than 100 nanometers in diameter. These nanotubes can extend to lengths of several micrometers or even millimeters. The unique structure of CNTs imparts several extraordinary properties, making them a subject of intense research and development. Let's now dive deeper into the properties that make CNTs so valuable. One of the most well-known characteristics is their mechanical strength. Carbon nanotubes are among the strongest materials known to science, with tensile strength exceeding 100 times that of steel, despite being lighter. Beyond strength, CNTs also exhibit remarkable electrical conductivity. Depending on their chirality, how the graphene sheet is rolled, CNTs can either behave as metallic conductors or semiconductors. This tunability makes CNTs ideal for applications in electronic devices. Thermally, carbon nanotubes excel as well. They exhibit extremely high thermal conductivity which allows them to efficiently dissipate heat. These properties make them attractive for various technological applications, from electronics to energy systems. Moving on to the synthesis of CNTs, there are several methods employed to produce these nanostructures, each with its own advantages and challenges. One of the most common methods is chemical vapor deposition, or CVD. This process involves heating a substrate in the presence of carbon-containing gases like methane, acetylene, or ethylene. As the gases decompose, carbon atoms accumulate and form nanotubes on the substrate surface. By controlling the temperature and the type of catalyst used, researchers can tune the characteristics of the resulting CNTs. Another method is the arc discharge technique, where an electric arc is used to vaporize graphite electrodes, resulting in the formation of CNTs in the vapor phase. This method is often used for producing larger quantities of CNTs. Laser ablation is another technique that involves using a high-powered laser to vaporize carbon targets. This results in the formation of CNTs in a controlled environment, often producing high-quality material, but it can be more expensive and less scalable compared to CVD. Now let's turn to the exciting applications of CNTs. Given their remarkable properties, carbon nanotubes have a broad range of uses across multiple industries. In electronics, CNTs are being used in the development of flexible displays, sensors and transistors. Their ability to conduct electricity and bend without breaking is crucial for the future of wearable technologies and flexible electronics. In energy storage, CNTs are improving the performance of batteries and supercapacitors. Their high surface area and conductivity enhance energy storage capacity, leading to more efficient devices that could revolutionize everything from portable electronics to electric vehicles. Medical research is another area where CNTs are showing great promise. They are being explored for drug delivery systems, where their small size and biocompatibility allow them to transport therapeutic agents directly to targeted areas within the body. CNTs could also play a key role in the development of advanced diagnostic tools and biosensors.
Despite their immense potential, the use of carbon nanotubes is not without challenges. One of the major hurdles is scalability. Producing CNTs in large quantities while maintaining consistent quality remains a significant barrier for many industrial applications. Another concern is the potential toxicity of CNTs. While they have shown promise in biomedicine, their interaction with biological systems is still under investigation. Ensuring that CNTs are safe for human use, especially in medical applications, requires more rigorous research. Nonetheless, the future of carbon nanotubes is bright. As new synthesis techniques are developed and as we learn more about their behavior in biological systems, we can expect CNTs to become even more integral to a wide range of industries. In conclusion, carbon nanotubes represent one of the most promising materials of the 21st century, with their unique properties enabling advances across electronics, energy storage, medicine, and many other fields. While challenges remain, continued research and innovation are sure to unlock even more of their potential. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this in-depth look at carbon nanotubes, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more content on cutting-edge materials science.